There we go. See your numbers? Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Cindy Dunn, and I work for the OSCC 55 Plus Adult Day Program at Faith Place. Today, we're going to make butter in a jar. You may wonder why I'm dressed like a cow. Well, I pose a question to you. We're going to make butter from cream. Where does cream come from? It comes from milk. Where does milk come from? A cow. So thanks to the cow for letting us have milk and butter. The three things that you'll need to do this craft, this activity is an empty jar, some salt, water, and cream. You can use a water bottle or a large jar but I chose a small jar only because it's easier to handle when you're shaking and the seniors can grab it easier. Okay, to start us off, we're going to take your cream. You can use 10% cream. I chose whipping cream only because it works a little quicker for our video. So you're gonna take and you're gonna fill your jar halfway up with cream. And if you like salted butter, you're gonna add a little bit of salt Put the lid on, make sure it's nice and tight, okay? Then all you have to do is put your hands on it and shake it. This may take about a minute, minute and a half, depending on who's shaking the jar. You can pass it around to family members or you can continue shaking. So instead of me talking through this whole thing, I'm gonna play a little music from the Beatles to help us shake. Make a butter ball in there. A quick shake it. Okay, we now have our butter. So if you notice, we have a ball of butter in there. So what we have to do is we have to drain the extra cream. You can save this for recipes that call for buttermilk, but I don't use buttermilk that much. The next step we have to do is we have to rinse off some of the buttermilk. If you don't do that, your butter will go rancid really quick. So this helps to keep it your butter longer. So we're going to put a little bit of water in there. Put the lid on tight, shake it up again, just to get rid of all the excess buttermilk. We're gonna drain it out. And I'm just gonna put it on the lid here because I forgot to get a plate. So as you can see, you got some nice soft butter there. You can add, you can use that and add garlic to it for garlic toast. You can add uh, cilantro and chives to have a herb butter for your steaks and your roasts. Or you can do one of my favorites that I grew up in. You can add cinnamon and brown sugar and put it on hot toast and have cinnamon toast. I hope you enjoyed my video today and give it a shot and see how it works. Mm.